Hello there fellow machinists. This video is the first in a series of videos that will introduce our product, a unique time-saving product for machine shops. I found in my 30 plus years as a job shop that setting up a mill to machine an angle is very time consuming. So what we have come up with is this product, an angle setting fixture that mounts right on your machinist's vise. Just remove your hard jaws and replace them with the angle jaws. Setting up the angle jaw to machine an angle is very fast, less than five minutes, and the setup is very secure. In this video, I'm going to show each one of the components of the set, name it, and give it a brief description of that particular component that makes up the set. Okay, this is the first, the angle jaw itself. It has a built-in 180 degree protractor, so you can load parts from the right side or the left side of the vise. It has t vertical T-slots to hold the component, to attach the component. This is the moving jaw, also has T-slots, vertical T-slots. This is the work stop, you, can, you attach it off the back of the angle jaw and it stops the parts from the right side or the left side when you're using the uh, adjustable parallels. This is a six inch locating arm, attach it to the pivot hole to hold a large piece of tooling or a very large part. These, these are the short right and left hand locating arms. They are designed in, in a way that you can hold a part uh, that has to be machined close to the top of the top of the vise. These are the larger locating arms for lo a bit larger part, more support. These are the adjustable parallels. One fits on the angle jaw, one fits on the moving clamping jaw to hold a part as thin as 1 32nd or the full height of the jaw. This is the floating locator arm, mounts horizontally on the angle jaw and is used to hold a part horizontally that's too large to hold vertically and you can hold a very long part and machine the top or the end of the, the part. Now we'll go to the next display that shows all the components attached to the angle jaw and I will go through each one explain how it is used. In the first half of this video, I failed to uh, have this uh, particular component of the angle jaw set on the other display. What these are are height stops, going from quarter inch to two inch in quarter inch increments. They attach to the L-shaped locating arms with a socket head cap screw from the bottom. I have uh, a couple samples here of how they are attached and what they do as far as raising the part. Okay, on this first angle jaw I have on the upper left here, is the short left hand locating arm. Uh, remember that it comes with a right and a left locating arm. This particular time, on this particular setup, I have the left hand locating arm and I'll swing to the left from a vertical zero. Okay, I'll loosen the socket head cap screw that which attaches to a square nut that goes in the T-slot. Okay, when you, at the back, the back of the uh, locating arm is on the high, on the zero graduation right there. It's your vertical zero. And each, each, li each line, each graduation is one degree. Each long line is five degrees. So here we have 45, 46, 47, and so on. I have a, part, a piece of material here. It's like 43, about 43 degrees approximately. And, and I'll just, uh, just to give you an idea how it works. There it's set up, there it is. And then that, that's how you hold the part. The machine, I mean, the machine, the machine the angle. Okay. And in, this, in the second uh, angle jaw, I have the right hand long locating arm, which is capable of holding parts, uh, a longer part. The short locating arm on the first one is so you can mill close to the top of the vise, but this one you, is for a larger part, and you can hold a, a larger part to machine, an angle. Basically, this is the right hand, so if you loosen the socket head cap screw, and, and the, both these locating arms locate off, uh, pivot off a, the pivot holes that go to the base of the angle jaw and they're located with a sh uh, precision shoulder screw. Half goes into the, the component, half goes into the jaw to have perfect location. And so this right hand locating arm, you can swing it to one, every angle you want. Say you want a 45, I'll just set it right there at 45. Attach it, put your part in. This has a half inch height stop to raise the part half inch if necessary. Uh, if you want a different degree, 
You want 55, there's 45, 50, 55 degrees. That easy to set another angle. You, you would tight, tighten up the socket head cap screw, then you would tighten your precision shoulder screw. And everything is sturdy, secure, nothing will move on you. Okay, the next, the next angle jaw has a uh, six inch locating arm. Also, uh, locates off the uh, pivot holes with a precision shoulder screw. It has a removable stop. This uh, particular component is good to hold a very large part or a piece of tooling. And the next uh, component I'm uh, going to demo here is the, uh, the uh, adjustable parallel zale. Hold the part is uh, 30 second thick or the full height of the jaw. Uh, you have one that goes on the angle jaw and one that goes on the moving clamping jaw. You, uh, you can hold something thin or you can use the whole uh, height of the jaw to put a part in, a larger part. The advantage of this over parallels is that when you blow out the chips, uh, the jaws don't move, the um, parallels don't move out, move on you, and you don't have to take the parallels out and blow the chips off and replace them. Everything stays in there, nice and sturdy. Okay, the uh, next component uh, works in conjunction with the uh, adjustable parallels we just went over with. This this is a, a work stop that mounts on the back of the angle jaw and can be for a right hand. Uh, work stop or on the left hand of the jaw for a left hand work stop. And like I say, it works in conjunction with the parallels. And the, and the last component I'm going to go over is the, what I call a floating jaw. This, uh, this is for uh, a very long part, and a, long, a part that's too long to hold uh, vert vertically to machine an angle. So you basically can put this anywhere on, on the angle jaw and, and to hold the long part, say you have a, like a 10 degree there, you could clamp it in, right? Use an angle block or something to set it like that. Say that's 10 degrees, and uh, you clamp your uh, your socket head cap screw. Everything's real sturdy. You could put another attachment right here. Lay your part in there, machine the top or the end, and stop way out at the end of the part. That uh, concludes. Description of all all the different components.